Hey everybody, welcome back. Glad you're here. Uh, so San Diego Comic Con was last week, and and uh, a lot of trailers dropped. I've been trying to get to them. Finally, finding a moment to do that. Uh, so we're going to be taking a look at some of these trailers moving forward. I should be dropping them over the next couple months, weeks, weeks, sorry, days actually. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so over the next couple of days, I'll be dra dropping a lot of these uh, trailer reviews because uh, we got a lot. Um, in the meantime, uh, the first one we're going to do is Wakanda Forever, something a lot of people are looking forward to. I know I am. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. Let me know what you think. Please comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends and with complete strangers. That's fine with me. And uh, get into this. Oh, woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. Little darling, don't shed no tear. No woman, no cry. So I don't know what is it. It looks like this could be a wedding. It looks like it could be a funeral. I'm guessing it's a funeral. Um, just. I don't know, there's something about it that just strikes me as, as that. Uh, might be T'Challa's. This might be how the movie starts. Don't know. So. Good friends. I think that, I think right there is uh, actually Angela Bassett's mother, Rolanda. Rolanda? Okay. Um, that looks like her headdress. So she is obviously marching there. Uh, I don't think she's getting married. So more than likely, this is probably um, uh, the funeral, more than likely for T'Challa. So Ramonda, sorry, that's her name. And she looks so good. That is a classic woman, if ever I have ever seen one in my entire life. Angela Bassett, that profile she has, just stunning. Every bit of queen, you know? That's, that's an awesome, awesome profile. So people were saying that this would probably be uh, like a... a A Wakandan birth? It's not. This is more than likely, this is probably Namor's origin story. Uh, those are Atlanteans. Um, so, yeah. This Love that picture. So, in case you don't know, uh, the MCU is really focusing more along a lot about characters getting their powers, if not as superheroes in, in their ways than from pantheons of gods. So you have like um, uh, Moon Knight uh, is, is the avatar of Khonshu, who is with the Egyptian deities. Actually, Black Panther is associated with Bast, who is also an Egyptian deity. You have Thor from the Nordic gods. You have Zeus, of course, and the... And the, the um, uh, not the Roman, but the Greek gods introduced in the last Thor movie, Love and Thunder. Namor and the Atlanteans are going to be associated with the um, South American gods, the Aztec gods, so Quetzalcoatl and those guys who I don't know a lot about. Um, so that's why you're going to be seeing like a lot of feathery headpieces, a lot of greens and blues and golds and reds. Um, these were the colors that were really associated with. So that's why you're going to be seeing a lot of that imagery. Uh, on on their behalf. So obviously, young Namor there the blue atlanteans so 
Um, obviously more of a version story. I am queen of the most powerful nation in the world! I believe that is Namora, who is Namor's sister. That right there is definitely Riri Williams. So they are introducing her in this film. She is going to be um, Ironheart, who, who she's basically a young child genius like Tony Stark was, and taking inspiration from him, she builds her own suit, and she's going to be the Iron person uh, moving forward. She actually has her own series coming up in Phase 5. So they're introducing her in this one. So that's the Wakandan throne room. So probably a tidal wave hitting that. Yeah, awesome. Namor's probably going to send a tidal wave to hit Wakanda. That is the coolest throne I've ever seen in my entire life. Just. That's female. Question is, who does it belong to? Okay. So. I'm hopeful for this movie. I want it to succeed. I want it to be good. I have reservations. I didn't when 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 Chadwick Boseman died and Marvel announced that they were not going to recast T'Challa. I was like, okay. So who's going to be the next Black Panther? Because we because Black Panther two was already announced. Um. Everybody is saying Shuri. I don't think it's going to be Shuri. I've been thinking about this, right? So you got three possibilities. Shuri. Why Shuri? Because she's a royal, uh, a sister of T'Challa, uh, a princess of, of, um, of, the, of the throne. Next in line, that whole business. However, the plant that gave uh, T'Challa, his powers as the, as the Black Panther no longer exists because Killmonger destroyed all those plants in the land. So she's not going to have like superpowers. So they're going to have to be combat specialists. That's either going to be Okoye, right? Is she going to leave the uh, Dora Milaje and become the Black Panther? Um, or it could be Nikita. Pia Nyong'o, uh, that's T'Challa's girlfriend from the last movie, the war dog, uh, infiltration specialist, also combat. Um, she could be. I think she's kind of... I think her... I th I, I'm really leaning towards Okoye. Um, because unless Shuri actually gets a hold of one of those plants... She does not have the capability of being a combat specialist like the Black Panther needs to be. Maybe Ayo Ayo uh, is, is another one of the of the uh, uh, Dora Milaje, um, but I don't think she would she would leapfrog over Okoye. So but Okoye could become Black Panther and then Ayo move up to be head of the Dora. Um, 
which would be interesting because I just I just don't see I see I know everybody wants Shuri to be it. I don't know if she's going to be it. She might end up being it. Um, but she's going to have to get a hold of one of those flowers. So that's probably so. Um, that might be that might be one of the one of the little sub tech, one of the uh, little subplots of the movie. Otherwise. What do you think? I'm really excited for Namor to be here, finally. Um, great character, historic character, icon of the, of the Marvel Universe and comic books. Uh, the first mutant um, fought with Captain America as an invader, uh, with the invaders back in World War II when it was Captain America and Bucky and uh, the original Human Torch and Submariner. Um, well, he was Submariner, but Namor. Um, so he's been around for a long time. Thorn in the side of the Fantastic Four. We know the Fantastic Four have a movie coming up. Um, probably in Phase 6, it looks like. Uh, so introducing him is great. It looks like they're going to focus on his origin a lot. So that's awesome. Awesome. I'm really excited about that. Um, and the conflict that they have between his nation, the nation of Atlantis, and the Wakandan Empire uh, or nation um, is really going to be big. It looks like there's going to be a big fight. It looks like there's going to be a huge tidal wave. So just uh, aside from that, I, I'm just going to leave it there. I have, I have, I have some reservations. I, I'm, I think that. The MCU getting very feminine heavy. This movie is very feminine heavy. I think seven of the top ten characters in this film are all women. Um, but I think it, they can pull that off here because it's more of like a, it's more than just a superhero more movie. It's more of like a really political and national kind of movie, and it's a family movie. So having you know, Ramonda in there, and then Shuri, and Akoya, and Akita, and Ayo, and uh, you're going to have Namora in there now. You're going to have uh, a couple of others in there. It's, it's, that's fine. But, man, Marvel, you got to balance this out, because you got Ironheart coming out. Oh, Ironheart's in there now. Uh, you got She-Hulk series coming out now. You have female Hawkeye now. You have Echo coming back from the Hawkeye series. Uh, you got a, a, a female Loki coming back in season two of Loki in the next phase. Um, you got the Marvels, which is going to be Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, and Photon from WandaVerse. I mean, from uh, WandaVision. Uh, and and, and Miss Marvel was not good. I've seen three of those six episodes, and I'm not in a hurry to finish to finish watching them. That was probably the boringest hero show I've ever seen in my life. Um, that's a whole other subject. So, I don't know. I'm hopeful. I have reservations. I think that they can use this as a huge set piece to wrap up um, Phase 4 and to prep the kickoff for Phase 5, which will be um, Ant Man and Wasp in the Quantum Verse. Um, so it'll be interesting moving forward. I think I think they're I think they have a big chance here to introduce some really really good characters if they do it correctly and they handle them correctly. Because right now their their handling of female characters is not good. I have no problem with female heroines. There's there's plenty of them. Um, and I've been a, a fan of of superheroes regardless of gender for since I was a kid. So that doesn't bother me. The problem is, is that I don't think they know how to handle them. Ever since Captain Marvel, I think the only one they've ever gotten right was Black Widow, and then they turned around and did that Black Widow movie and just completely trashed it, and and, and trashed that character. That was a terrible movie. Gender swapping Taskmaster, by the way, big mistake. Big mistake. Hated that. Taskmaster is awesome, and you ruined it with that gender swapping face reveal. He did not have to do. That. Wish you had. Anyway. Another subject. Um, so we'll see. 
comes out in November, so we got a few months. We'll probably get another trailer probably in about two months, probably like in October, uh, maybe late September, early October. We'll probably get another one, get a lot more uh, storyline details. And then in November, we can just have a big old discussion about what went right or what went wrong. <laughs> I'm sure we will. Anyway, um, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. You hopeful, you noteful. I want to know. Appreciate you guys being here. Thank you very much. I love you all. See you next time.